What's up guys, Mike Salemi here today, and we're gonna take a departure from our normal bags, body weight, and kettlebell content to bring you something special. I'm gonna invite you into my home, the Casa de Salemi, and we're gonna break down the steps of what it looks like and what it takes to make a perfectly well-executed espresso shot. So check this out. I'm gonna add the love, add the intention, and of course the technical details to set you up for success. Let's go. All right, so this is where it begins. The very first step when I'm making espresso is I'm taking the porta filter and I'm zeroing it out on a scale. That way, when I start adding in the coffee and then add the porta filter with the coffee back to the scale, all essentially we're trying to do is see how much coffee that we want for the ideal basket. This is a double shot basket. And so usually I've been doing it around 17 ish grams. Today I'm going a little bit heavier. Uh, this is a new roast today from a boy cafe organic. And when I place it right back down, this is 17.8 grams. This was the perfect amount for today's uh, extraction, for today's espresso pull. The other thing that you'll see right now is I've actually got a dissection needle. Now, I know that might look a little crazy, but uh, it's just something, an extra step that I like doing with this type of grinder. I like breaking up all the clumps, making sure it's a little bit more aerated. The coffee is always gonna choose the path of least resistance, so anytime you can break up some of those clumps, it's typically gonna give a nicer pull for me. You just saw I just gave it a little bit of a tap to kind of condense down the coffee, and now is where we take out the tamp. This is where the first side on this tamp that you're looking at, it's gonna smooth out and even out that coffee in the actual basket, and then we add that ideal tamp pressure. You can see it looks just really nice. It's up to that line in the basket. Not that that really means too much, but this is a good gauge for me with this type of coffee and pressure. And then we're ready to go. Now is where you can actually see. With this type of porta filter, this it's almost like the bottom is cut off as opposed to a double set spout or a single spout porta filter. Now we can actually see almost like a diagnostic measurement. We can actually see how the coffee's forming. And these alternating dark and light tiger stripes is exactly what you're looking for. This was such a tasty espresso. These beans come from a boy, Cafe Organic Cody Ferguson. It was delicious. And now as you're gonna see, I'm gonna remove the porta filter and we're gonna look at the puck. You can tell so much about the espresso just by looking at the puck. You want it to be firm, you want it to be slightly dry and you can see it almost formed like a little cake. And now is where we test it. This is the moment of truth. So good, so goddamn good. That is how you make espresso at the Casa de Salami. I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, let coffee, let tea, let whatever you love doing in the morning be your ritual. Coffee for me is such a beautiful time to come together. I share this with my friends, I share this with my family. And the most important thing, it's a moment for me to connect with a ritual that where I feel most present, more in my body, most dialed in, and I can put so much love into the activity that I'm doing. Anything can be a meditation, and coffee is that for me. I hope it's something like that for you, and if not, give it a try. Take your time with it, enjoy the process. I send you lots of love. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, share this video with my friends, with your friends, who are my friends, we're all friends, and uh, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much, peace out, have a great day.